Assalamualaikum and a very good day class. So now we are in week 14, part 3 video, which is under chapter 5, differentiation and integration. But we will go to the last topic of this semester, which is volume. How can we compute volume using integration if a region in the plane is revolved? About the given line, the resulting solid of revolution and the line is called the axis of revolution. When calculating the volume of a solid generated by revolving a region bounded by a given function, we need to follow these four steps. The first step here, we have to sketch the area and then determine the axis of revolution. This will be determined the variable of integration. And then we need to sketch the cross section and determine the appropriate formula. So this one will we will see later uh, for the integration with respect to x and how we can compute also volume using integration with respect to y. And then we need to determine the boundaries of the solid, means that the upper and uh, the lower and upper limit of the solid. And then we have to set up the definite integral and also we can integrate the function with respect to the variable that we have identified in step number. This is the simplest example. Let's say we have here this kind of shape. For this one, we have, for example, a shape like this. So this is a boundary which is start from zero up to this, uh, for example, here A. And this is the area of the given region. So now if to compute volume, we need to revolve this curve according to this x axis or this y axis. If let's say here, it is revolved along x axis, so we'll got this kind of circle, this one, this one. And then when we connect all this, it's become, finally, it becomes shaped like this. So how can we compute, how can we determine the region? The region of the solid is given by all this one. Okay, so there are two formula here to compute the volume, which is by using this method. So suppose R is the region bounded by Y equal to Fx, X exists, and also X equal to A and X equal to B. This is based on the previous concept of shape. For example, here we have this kind of shape. If revolved according to X exists, means that we'll got this kind of cylinder and then we can compute here the volume of this given shape means that this one is our fx and here is boundary of this region that is starting from x equal to zero and up here x equal to b in this case the volume of the solid revolution that is generated by revolving the r region about x exists so here we revolve this shape about x axis. This is x axis, and this is a region R. How can we compute the volume? We can integrate starting from, let's say I did not hear as A, starting from A up to B, pi, and then fx, our function to the power of 2, which is the integrate respect to x. And then the next formula. If we now revolve our shape according to y axis, for example, here I have uh, this kind of shape. It's revolved according to y axis, means that this will be like this, like this, and so on. So you will have this kind of cone. In this case, this is our, we need to write as x equal to f y, and then if this is C value and this is T value, means that this is our region R. So how can we get this volume, volume of this cone? We can use the formula integration starting from C up to D pi, which is time of Fy square dy. Now our function must be in terms of Y. If the plane bounded by the curve of y equal to fx, which is this one is y equal to fx, and our fx is 3x, and the x exists, which is x in between a and b, we rotate 
through a complete revolution about x as it, it will generate a solid symmetrical. Means that here, from this one, just area, you can get a shape that from here, from this shape, you can compute the volume. So class, we go to this example one. The, for this example, we can plot a graph, this one. This one is quadratic function. It cross at x, it, uh, it cross at y equal to 7 here when x equal to 0. You will have this kind of shape. Okay, you can check later uh, because we, we have learned previously how to plot for this quadratic function. And given to us, our x is starting from 1, let's say this is 1, up to 5. For example, here is 5. So, we have this boundary and then it is rotate about x axis. Means that this shape, you have to rotate about x axis. You will have finally this kind of, you will have this kind of volume that is, it will give us all this region R. And then how can we solve for the volume? We refer back to the formula, the volume equal to the integration from A to B, which is 1 to 5, pi. Now it's rotate about x as is, so the formula is given by fx to the power of 2 dx. So now we have integration 1 to 5, pi, x squared minus 5x plus 7 to the power of 2 dx. So now we need to integrate this one. To do this, you can expand this function, which is will give us integration 1 to 5 by x to the power of 4 minus 10x to the power of 3 plus 39x to the power of 2 minus 70x plus 49 integrate respect to dx when we solve this one we have pi and then x to the power of 5 divided by 5 minus 10 x to the power of 4 divided by 4 plus 39 x to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus 70 x to the power of 2 divided by 2 plus 49 x which is integrate starting from 1 to 5 and then when we substitute the value, we'll got here the answer equal to 164 over 5 pi. So this is how we can compute the volume for this problem that is rotating around x is this. This is what we did actually. Okay, you can see for this figure, you can try to plot it by yourself. And then when you rotate here, you will have this kind of shape. And then how we compute here is that. Let's say this is our R is Fx. This is our region that we want to find. V equal to integration A to B pi. This Rx to the power of 2 dx. So we have this one. This one class there is mistake should be power 2. And then we expand this means that we have this kind of uh, formula. This kind of expression. We compute the integration of this. We'll got 164 over 5 pi. This is the volume for the solid which is revolving at x is this.